winning is important for some, just finishing is top priority for others. John Coker was never going to win the Ipe Silver Fern. His 65 horsepower Skoda 130LR brings up the rear of the field, but he will eventually finish, and that's more than a dozen cars can boast. It's a similar story elsewhere. Taking the chequered flag is the last thing on Greg Paul's mind. Teamed with his mate Peter Martin, they're ticking the bucket list. After all, this is the first time in more than two decades a gravel marathon has been run in the North Island. I prefer to be down the field. It's certainly much more sociable. Um, the guys that we're um, rallying with down the back of the field are uh, all good chaps, uh, all driving sort of similar cars, uh, similar paces, and we're having a lot of fun. Gravel's always been in my blood, so uh, when Greg said, hey, look, we haven't got the sunbeam ready, let's do it in the Fiat, I said, why not, and let's have a go. And uh, so we uh, had a chat with Federal, threw some Federal tyres on, exposed that product, and uh, we're having a ball, so it's really good. Out to prove that competing doesn't have to break the bank, Paul and Martin were hoping to make the finish on just one set of tyres. But discretion is the better part of Vela. The slippery roads convince them the Fiat should be reshod with two new Federals ready for the morning. Now that's budget rallying.